Okay, what I'm going to do now is import the various uh, files into Cubase, and by file I mean the various bits, the various chapters of the book that I've recorded. So we go to File, then New Project, and I want one that's empty. So we hit OK, and then it says, where do you want to put this file? Well, I'm going to put it in Training Samples, which incidentally is on my external hard drive. I keep all my audiobook things on an external hard drive. This one's called Elements, because um, that way it doesn't clutter up and jam my computer. So that's fine. If I wanted to create a new folder for it, then I could. Let's do that. Um, training... Oh dear, I've got capitals on. Training folder title. Well, training folder will do. Okay, so there you go. Uh, we'll call it training folder. Um, so training samples, we've got training folder in there. So we'll, OK, that's where you can put all the files. And as you can see, uh, it's now created um, a kind of a studio, a recording studio. Um, as always, I want to make sure instead of being on um, notation, I have this on time, seconds. So along here, these markers change to time. Um, I don't have this um, auto scroll switched on because uh, that moves the screen along um, to the right when I don't want it to move. I never ever have this one switched on. This is snap where the the uh, the cursor which is that black line always snaps to a second or whatever the markers are. I never ever want that so I always have that switched off the way it is now. So we have the recording studio but we don't have a track so we go to project add track audio and there is our track. And if I mouse over here, you'll see... Oh, I'm being recorded. Look at that. Um, I'll, j I'll mute myself so it doesn't confuse. Oh, no, that is that is confusing. Right. So if we mouse over here, you'll see the mouse changes. So I'm going to hold the mouse there, click, and hold the, 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 the pointer down, and drag down so it opens that track. OK. Now I want to import a track, so I'm going to put the cursor, which is this black line, wherever it is I want to import the track. So I'll put it on the, the five second mark, it doesn't have to be there, I like to get a little gap before I put import a track. So then I go to File, Import Audio File, and I go to the place where I want the files to be. Now. If it's not in the right place, then I can just search through where it, is, where it is that I want it. And again, the Elements is my external hard drive, and that's where I keep all my audiobooks. It so happens that this is the right file. When I record something on an external recorder, it'll come up with a monumentally useless title like this. So, I'm going to, uh, before I actually import this, I will change the titles of these to something like this the name of the book and the pages covered and the name of the chapter dot wav. Now you don't add the dot wav, that will happen automatically. Um, and the wav form is the type of recording you should be making. You should only be editing and recording wav files because they are large, they are huge, in fact, uncompressed files. We need that quality um, of uncompressed sound so that when we upload it to the appropriate websites we can turn it into the right sort of uh, recording. So I'm going to import Urban Legends pages 1 to 37 because that's the very beginning of the book. So I've selected it. Um, if I haven't got the right title then I can click once and then give a pause. And I'll do that again. So I click once, then give a pause, then click again and now I can change it to a much more logical title. So in this case it might be Urban Legends pages 92 through 104 for example. And that might be chapter, um, I don't know what, what chapters have we got, oh, well let's, let's change it, so chapter 3, so this one would be chapter 4, so if the title's wrong it doesn't matter, I can just do that again, chapter 4, fine, so there we go, so let's import the first one first, which is this one, we'll hit, we can preview it here if we want to, I don't particularly want to, I just want to import it, but you can if you want to, and open, and there we go, it is importing it and it takes a little while because it's a large file and there. When it says under construction that just means the image is being constructed and this is the image, these marks here. So now I need to zoom out a bit so I can um, have a clearer view of this and this is what I refer to as a piece of tape. Um, 
because that's what the recording is sitting on, if you like. This grey stuff here is a piece of tape. So if, when I start talking about it as a piece of tape, you know what I mean. So I'm going to zoom out a bit, and down here we have the zoom out key. If you want to zoom out quickly, you can click and drag on this bar in the middle, and it zooms out really quickly. And it always puts wherever it can, when you're zooming in, it puts the uh, it jumps to where the cursor is. And remember, this black line is the cursor. So if you want to zoom in, then you want to put the cursor to where it is you want to zoom in. So let's zoom in by doing this. And oh, well, you know, it jumps um, to the to where the cursor is and puts the cursor in the middle. I'm going to zoom out again more slowly by clicking on this black arrowhead here and just touching it away like that. And then I'm going to scroll over to the right. And this is the scroll bar. And I can either click this button to scroll right, this button to scroll left, or to jump right, I can just click on the gap here or there, or I can move this along. So it's all pretty logical stuff. Now I'm going to import the next file, and I'm going to put it here directly after this one. So you know what to do now. File, import, audio file, and we know that the next bit is that one. So that's the one we want to import now. Hit open. And there you go. It's very important that you record everything and import them all before you start editing. The reason being you want to make sure that the volume levels are matched and that you haven't missed out any chapters. Um, so do remember that. Now I'm going to go through, let's just zoom out a little bit, so that you can see you've got the two chapters, or the two pieces of tape as I call them. It's got the titles at the bottom at the moment, which is nice. Um, I'm going to go through the rest of the book and I'm going to put all these chapters on one track in the correct order, with none of them having been edited. And then you've got your, yourself ready to start editing.